guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I thought I'd show you how to make these cute little bows um, they're little paper clip bows um, this one is made out of fabric and I've got just a tiny little paper clip on the back so that just clips onto there like that so you can pop it onto a card a present whatever you like little gift bag and I just think they are really really lovely there's one here so it all depends which way you pop the paper clip on which side you clip it on so I just think they are lovely and so so simple um, I saw this idea a little while ago um, it was either on Pinterest or YouTube I'm not quite sure and I think these would be perfect for Christmas um, so if I find the video again I will or the, the link to the Pinterest I will pop it down below but I think they are really really cute super simple to do and all as I'm using is some um, squares of paper now you really want a double-sided um, paper this is material here which I um, heat and bond together which is the same as this one I did and it just makes it a little bit harder as well um, and you want to sort of like double-sided um, this is just a lovely shiny piece of textured paper and these ones are just um, off cuts from my Christmas papers um, which I have printed on both sides so they're three and a half centimeters um, three and a half inches um, square or nine centimeters and I've also got three um, inches square or seven centimeters um, this one's a little bit smaller as well so that's probably about um, two and three quarter inches um, so there we go so these are the bits that I've got this is a piece of um, scrapbook paper and I've just inked at the back like that so that's this one I did here so and then I twisted this so it comes to the front but I'll show you how to do that as well so you can just use your off cuts and um, they are lovely little paper clips so I think they are good so who doesn't like a nice little paper clip and especially over Christmas they're perfect to go on your presents so I'm going to pop that to the side I'm going to take let's take a nice bigger one today um, to start with so what we want to do we want to make a diagonal across here um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you here look let me get my scoreboard and all my bits and pieces out of the way I'm going to just score down here now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from the number 9, so I'm just going to take my little scorey tool, my little ball tool, make sure I'm in the right little line there. So how I do it, I just go up like that because I've gone off so many times and then straight down. Easy peasy. So we've got a lovely little cross in there. So what we want to do is cut out one of the little diagonals, um, the little triangles here. So I'm going to just cut this one out like this. So and then on, so that will be the top and this is the bottom. So what we want to do here is just cut out a little triangle just like that just a little triangle in the bottom like this and then I'm going to cut up not all the way to the top just leave sort of a quarter of an inch um, before you get to the middle just like that okay now I'm going to fold this in half okay and I want to sort of round this bit off here so I'm just going to take that in and just round that off so that's the sort of shape we're going to get we're going to end up with and this is sort of like the little bow so depending on what side I think I might have this side as the front um, depending on what side you want as the front you want to just sort of like bend these in a little bit move these bits out of the way so you can see just bend them in so they don't um, bend flat 
or have a crease in it you want a little a nice little um, bend like that and then I'm going to just get my bit of ink just a little bit of distress ink I'm using the vintage photo just a little bit of inking obviously you don't have to do this but I think it looks quite nice with a little bit of ink especially if you want to, them to look sort of a little bit sort of vintagey um, all depends what paper that you're going to use obviously they don't have to be for Christmas you could make them out of birthday papers and all sorts of different colours and pop them on gifts as well birthday gifts because it's not always um, people always have birthdays obviously in December as well don't they so let's just pop a little bit of ink on there now I'm going to use that's nicely inked up I'm going to use my glue gun now I haven't used my glue gun for ages and um, this is a really nice little Sizzix one um, and what we want to do is just pop a little bit of glue in the middle just like that get these little bits out of the way I'm going to take a little pokey tool well it's not a pokey tool it's my little scorey tool and I'm going to just if I can just push that down like that just so you don't burn your fingers now this glue dries really quickly because my board it's because it's glass it's quite cold so it will set quite easily quite quickly so just push that down and there we go so as long as you get them all connected in the middle like that oops I'm going to have a little bit of glue on there because my glass mat is quite cold because it, obviously it's winter now and it's a bit chillier than it is normally in here than in the summer so there we go perfect so th this is you can cut this triangle bigger or smaller depending on what size you want your little bits of ribbon hanging down so this one I've done a bit too fat I think I'm going to just cut that in just a little bit that looks a bit better doesn't it and I can just ink that up so they're not so fat so look at that how simple was that um, and on these ones I've got a little flower on the front of there glue everywhere I've got a little um, embroidery and a little um, stick on gem on there this one's I've got a little bit of seam binding a little gem um, this one I've got a nice bit of bling on there so but this one I've got a big flower and I thought that would look quite nice in there and these will look great on presents so I'm going to just stick that right in the middle like that so you don't have to when you fold them in it doesn't have to be perfectly um, tidy in there because you can cover it up like that so I think that looks really nice now the piece that I've cut out I'm going to just cut it down like that so I've got a flat edge and we're going to pop a paper clip on there what colour is the back just like that and I'm going to cut around here and then we can just stick this on the back like that and we've got a little paper clip so I'm going to stick that down with some um, hot glue like that pop that onto the back squeeze that down and there we go we've got one lovely little paper clip bow look at that isn't that gorgeous let's take a piece of paper that slots in and that can just slot onto your present and i think they are lovely so i'll show you how to make that again oh actually i might show you how to make the fabric one because i think that's really really lovely and because i've got the um heat and bond in between it makes it a little bit thicker um, so it's not all floppy and um, I think these are gorgeous so again we want to sort of 
find the middle. Now I'm not going to score this because we're not going to be able to score it properly. So we want to sort of see the middle. So I can just about see that. So I'm just going to cut out the little triangle. So cut the triangle out like that. Turn it over. And we want to just cut out a triangle in the middle, just a smaller one, like that. So you've got that shape, and then we go up these little lines like that. Not all the way to the top, just like that. So that's the shape. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half, and we're going to cut just a little arch in here. We pop them together um, just so that they are going to be the same when you cut them. Just a little arch in there and then we've got that shape like that. Let's put these bits out of the way so we can see what we're doing. I think I'll have the green on the inside, like on the outside. And then we just fold those in. So I'm going to take oops, a little bit of hot glue that over there. Take this and pop that down like that. Just the four corners in there. This one in there like that. So again doesn't have to be neat and tidy. And there, look at that, we've got a lovely little bow. So what can I put in the middle of this one? I think that's going to be too big. No, that's fine. A little bit of glue over the top. I've forgotten how quick and easy using a glue gun is. Look at that. How cute is that? So now we need to put a little back on it. So I'm going to use the um, piece that we had left over from cutting the little corner, the little triangle out, and we can, let's pop a paper clip on first. I need to get some more paper clips, I think. Okay, so we want to do it this way, because that's white, so we want the white on the back. Like that. little bit of glue on there. Pop in my glue stick. There we go. Oops. And that can just stick on there like that. Oopsie daisy. And there we go. One little fabric bow. And these would be lovely. If you've got some sort of like um, nice red fabric, they would look lovely, wouldn't they? Or even a lovely bit of velvet fabric would look nice. So then we've got that one, which is coming this way, just to pop onto a little page. I think they are just lovely. One more then, I will do one more out of this one because I need some anyway. Let's get this glue out of the way. Let's make another one. Let's pop these to the side because I just need to score this. So again, I'm going to go up from this one, which is the number nine. Like that. Score the middle. The one triangle out like this. Turn it over. Then we want to cut a smaller triangle out. 
once you've done a couple you'll know how to do it it's really simple and then we're going to cut up here don't cut all the way up just leave a quarter of an inch just on that bit and then we're going to fold this in half and then we're just going to cut that little arch like that and then we've got our little shape so which way should we do it should we have it this way i'm going to have it this way i think Let's just bend these over a little bit, just so that they turn. A little bit of ink. I can actually pop a little bit of stickles on these as well. It would look nice, wouldn't it? Let's just see that inside bit. And these bits here. super easy once you know how to do it once you've made a few um, you'll be making lots I think I might make a few bigger ones uh, as long as your paper is square um, I think they will work out really nicely so there we go there we go let's pop a little bit of glue in the middle take this and just pop these in like this, oops, bend that over, pop you down, pop you down in there, like that, here we are, so, perfect, how cute. A little bow here which I'm going to put a bow in the middle of the bow because I think that will look pretty oh you could probably make some really pretty shabby ones couldn't you oh dear come on down you go stick that down and stick you over the top didn't work very well did it there we go Perfect. Now we need a little bit of a paper clip. Let me get another one. Here's one here. Paper clip on the back. Which we got right in. Oh. Didn't stick at all. Oh my gosh. Shows I haven't used glue gun for ages. I've got it stuck everywhere. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we want it to go this way, don't we? This way. No, this way. My gosh. I want it so that writing's on that side so it sort of disappears a little bit more. I think I'm going to have to practice a little bit with my glue gun. Making a right mess. There we go. Pop that onto the back like that. Squeeze it down and then we have another lovely little paper clip. Perfect. Shall we have something in the middle? What should we have in the middle? I need a little bit of bling. I've got some little tiny gems over here look those little self-adhesive ones so let's see if i can pop a little bit of glue on there pop a little gem on top there we go perfect little bit of bling on there gorgeous Okay, perfect. So there we go. We have some lovely, lovely little bows. Absolutely perfect to go onto your presents in your little Christmas journals or wherever you'd like to put them. Um, and I think they are just gorgeous. So you can make them out of all sorts of little bits of scrap paper. You can make them as big and small as you like. And who doesn't love a lovely little paper clip bow? 
so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care have a fantastic rest of the day and i will see you soon bye guys mm -hmm.